Waiting the happen now the Obonga Pigeon English program for ITV every Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We need to apologize to Nigerians. Where is the provision for the youth? Where is the apple? They're not the third person making it. We don't get like that. No, no, like. We go take our. Why is English for the youth? Because they're like the Qatari. Forget the Qatari. Tell us that we don't increase our life on our money. No high. We are okay. People, they talk different, different things. I'm waiting the apple work. Thanks for being there. The program is still this morning on ITV. It's now time for us to take on our guests for this morning. And we will be looking at the judiciary and how it has fared in the year 2016. Like someone once said that if the judiciary history is to be written, obviously the 20, year 2016 will have the longest column. The impossible happened in the judiciary and so much drama, melodrama and counter drama all took place in this art going here 2016. I have with me a lawyer and uh, he is Barista Ahmed Tijani uh, Yusuf and there's also a public affairs commentator. Welcome Barista. Thank you very much. Yeah, Barista, let's start off now uh, looking at the year 2016 uh, for the legal profession. Before we start to break it down, how will you assess the year? 2016? Yeah. The year 2016 is full of um, ups and downs. Ups and downs in the sense that um, there are so many criticism. You know, the, this year marked the one year, I mean, almost one year into the administration of this, uh, of uh, Mr. President. And um, there are so many ups and downs, so many good things, so many bad things, so many expectations. So I would say, well, the year has not fared badly neither has it fared excellently. Okay, now looking at the, the, the judiciary, uh, uh, we will we'll, we'll look at some of the drama uh, that really happened that we know for sure the rate of the judges is yeah. what will actually shape the year. Uh, can you say that uh, the judiciary, let me, let's take it now from two angles here, uh, the rate of the judges, have it actually changed the way the year unfolds for the judiciary? Well, um, the rate of the judges well, even before the raid, I really do not see anything. I really do not see, the judi even though I will not rate the judiciary excellently, I will still not rate them poorly. The raid of the judges has not really, to me, to my mind, has not really, no, has not really caused any improvement. It, 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 it's of no moment. Why, why, why are you it's, saying it's that? It's of no moment. I, 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 even though the, the way, even though the, the action of the, of the, the, the rating, the, 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 um, the law does not um, frown at the way in which the judges were raided. But I really do not see the, the reason why the judges will be raided at that ungodly hour. Okay. I really do not see But, but, but Nigerians, Nigerians, have been, Nigerians have been raided that way, even lawyers have been raided that way, why not judges? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that judges are immune. Okay. I'm not saying that they are immune. Okay. But there are ways you do things. Because this, this is a government of change. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. this, in this way, previous administration have done something like this similarly. Previous administration did a similar thing. And we all frowned at the way in which the DSS, under Jonathan's regime, attacked or carried out some of his activities. We are expecting that something differently should have been done from the way it was done in the past. Now, now looking at the, 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 the judges read in 2016 yes. Yes, and their subsequent prosecution, is that not a defining moment of how the year was shaped by the judiciary, in the judiciary? What exactly do you mean? What, what I'm saying is that throughout the normally year after year, we have seen the judiciary come through its own. But as we look at this year holistically, is yeah. that not the biggest event? Of course, it's one of the biggest. We have never had this before. In our history. In our history. Permit, correct me if I'm wrong. We've never had this before where judges, not just of lower court, of the highest court. The big boys. The big boys were raided. They were raided. Not just raided, but raided at the we are. It went into their houses. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were bundled. Okay. You understand? They were bundled. I mean, it calls for it calls for concern. Okay. It really calls for concern. 
even though some of us were not really too happy in which I mean I particularly I wasn't really too happy the way the judges were read because it is not the individual judges it is not the individual judges it is the judiciary as an institution that is being to my mind that is being rated not the judges now but but, but 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 as we analyze the year in the yes. early in the year there have been talk of excessive corruption in the bench yes yes it's all very alarming corruption that like these, these judges uh, as far as they are concerned the, the, the bench became like a marketplace where you have your money uh but it's strategic, you just go there you pay and you buy justice like a like a plate of rice i agree that there is corruption in the judiciary but the, but the corruption, it is only an exaggerated and an, and an embellished truth. Well, how do I mean? There is corruption in the judiciary like we have corruption in every other institution. Good. The, that of the judiciary is not an exception. It is not in any way an exception. So we should not mystify corruption in the judiciary as if it is only the judiciary that we have corruption. It is only an embellished truth. It is exaggerated. We have corruption in the executive. We have corruption in the legislature. Even in the media. Even, even in the media. We have corruption no, but, but, in but, but, our educational but, sector. But the belief, barrister, is that beside you, 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 you are a barrister, you go to court, uh, you sit in the bar, you defend your client and yes. all of that. But away from your side, the bench is what they say people next to God. They decide your fate. That yes. they ought to be people sanctified and holy, workers purified with spotless garment in the temple of justice. Yes, they ought to be spotless. They ought to be seen like Caesar's work. But, but, but what we saw is even the, the, the bar is even more sanctified than the bench. They ought to be seen like Caesar's uh, they, 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 they ought to live above Bob. Good. They ought to set examples, not only them. Anybody holding public office anybody holding holding public office must live above board anybody holding public office must set example must set a pace okay. it is not just the, the the members of the bench it is painful when i also see people from other ex or other sectors also not doing things that they ought to do it is not only the executive i mean the judiciary let us let us not look at the judiciary as the only problem it's a collect it's a whole it's a it's an endemic system the system is polluted. Not just the judiciary is only part of it. That is the problem we're having. It is not only the exec, I mean the judiciary. The executive is equally as corrupt as the judiciary. The if, not, if not more. If not more, the legislature is even as corrupt. Look at the, the allegations in the IDP, in the IDP camps. No, but, 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 but the expectation here yes. is judiciary ought not to be corrupt at all. No, 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 no. It's, 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 yes, that it's is like it's like the case of the of the of the what they call it, somebody call it the pastor and the neighbor. Yes. The neighbor commits adultery every day. Yes. And all of a sudden he saw a clergy with a woman. Yes. And the clergy say, What about you? He said, No, for me, people know <laughs> and expect me to be corrupt, to be to be adulterous. Uh, but for you, they never believe you should be. There is no difference between a clergy and a follower. Well. Yes. It's a new theory. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead. <laughs> it's a new theory. The, 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 to me. To me, yes. To me, the expectation, the, the expectations are the same. No, but every, everyone believes that the judges are just they are next to God. These are men who look at you and tell you your sin and condemn you to go and die for sinning. Am I am I, am I correct? Well, you are. You are correct. But so they should not be seen committing sin. They should not be seen committing. They should not be seen committing sin. They should not even contemplate it. They should not even contemplate committing no. sin. But what I am saying is this. Anybody that is holding a public office, be you at the bench, be you anywhere, do you understand? Be you the president of this country, you are equally, you are equally not expected to commit any sin or even contemplate committing sin. That is the point I'm trying to make. No, no, no. So let us not see the. As we look yes. at the, as we look at the year now, uh, there are trials that are going on. Yes. Uh, do you see it as being what the while? What the trials of the judges? Coming before junior, junior judges. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether they come before. They are all judges. They appear before judges. They are appearing also before judges of superior courts. It doesn't matter whether they are junior. The most important thing is that they appear before the proper court. But these are big boys. These are Supreme Court. Supreme court. No, I'm sorry. You're, you're bringing down one director to face a panel of a level eight officer. There is an allegation against them. So at that point, 
you cease to be a judge. A lot of them has they've been, they've been suspended. At that point, all the all the privileges you enjoy, you cease to enjoy. Them. So you must appear and face the law, irrespective. There is no, no there is nothing like small judge, big. You understand? They are all judges. But you know these are justice are mega judges. A best court, I know, I know. But it doesn't make them more superior than the judges of the Federal High Court and they are all courts of records. Now, now, now still looking at 2016 here, uh, President yeah. Buhari jacked up the judiciary budget with about 30 billion naira, yeah. uh, believing that uh, putting in more funding may likely give uh, uh, the, the, the bench some strength uh, yeah. to play around with money and they may not be looking at money coming from the other side. Would that help matters? Well, the, the, the problem really is not money per se, if you ask me. Okay. The problem really is that we should put we should put the right people in the right places. The way and manner some of these judges are appointed really calls for concern. We should, I think the constitution needs to be amended to accommodate certain, to accommodate this requirement. For instance, the only requirement to appoint a judge, some of the requirement is one, you must be 10 years post call. 10 years post call, uh, you must be called to the Nigerian bar. And I think these are some of the few requirements. We, I am of the view that we should go beyond being 10 years post-call. You, you should have a practical experience of the law. Okay. So what it means is that even if you are 10 years post-call and you are working in the bank, it means that you are qualified. All your years as a legal practitioner, you have worked, you have put, in, put it in in the bank. It means that you are qualified. Or in the civil service. In, or in the civil service. So you can just be brought from the civil service or from the bank or from any other sector and they put you at the bench without going, without through, going through, through litigation litigations. it is very very important i am of the view that the requirement to become a judge should also be the requirement for becoming a senior advocate of nigeria yes. you should pass through the rigors there are the rigors the requirement for becoming for becoming a senior advocate of nigeria is more tedious than the requirement for becoming a judge. And that is why sometimes when these judges, when some senior advocates of Nigeria appear before these judges, they, some of them, with all due respect, are intimidated. they are intimidated. They are intimidated. So it is not the money. If you ask me, some of these judges, particularly the judges at the Federal High Court and judges in Abuja, they are, they are doing very, very well. They can live comfortably with what they are having. They can live from where? From, from, from the Federal Government. They can live comfortably, comfortably with what they get okay. from the government. So, but money, okay, it is good. It is also part of the things that will improve the judicial system. But what I'm saying is that we should go beyond money. We should look at interest. And also, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be who, 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 whom you know. You understand? It should also be whom you know. Because sometimes we still get this issue of written notes. They still apply to today. They still apply. A lot of persons have applied to become judges. They are not gotten. They are not appointed. Rather, they will appoint persons, some persons who have other persons. And that is how it goes. I mean, she must know somebody who knows somebody you before must, you become a judge. You must know is, that not, is that not even dangerous at the point of entry? It is, even, it is dangerous. We are, we, are, we are missing the point at that, at that point. So there is a problem. So it is not the money per se. If you now, inject a as, we, uh, as we still look at the year that we are closing and we look at the, the, the so-called, or, or the fight against the rot in the judiciary, what, yeah. do you think, what do you think, besides the issue of funding, what other areas should the government look into to actually ensure that the judiciary don't have its hands soil in corruption? I just said it now. Let us look at the appointments. Okay, appointments. It is very, very important. We should put the right people in the right places. There are persons who, who do not, who, who do, being a judge is a calling. It is a calling. It's just like being a teacher. We shouldn't just appoint every Tom, Dick, and Harry to become teachers. We but sometimes they say when lawyers get lazy, they want to just become a judge. No, no, no. That is not true. That is not how you. Someone said when lawyers, yeah. when, when, when people who are discover that the litigation process is becoming so rigorous, defending a client and all of that, yeah. they just want to go and rest. Let me just rest at the bench. There is no rest at the bench. If you want to work as a judge, there is no rest. There is no rest. Because you have to write judges, you have to write judgments, you have to write rulings, you have to prepare for your case. If you have like 20 cases in a day, you must have to look at these cases, know the facts of these cases, before the lawyers appear before you. 
you understand so it is reading 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 and that is why they do not go for social activities like lawyers do they don't go for go to social activities they don't lawyer judges don't go for go to go to parties they don't go clubbing is it by the law yes on, under the the the, 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 um, um, the judicial uh, the rules but they can attend their children's wedding of course that is an exception <laughs> <laughs> of course, you, <laughs> you understand they don't there are things they don't do they don't have, have you ever have you ever interviewed a judge no. the serving judge no no the rules bar them from from from, from public appearance what is cj anyway you, 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 what? CJN. Yes. An appeal court president interviewed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. <laughs> <That political. laughs> so we should. They should look at the the appointment of judges. It is very very important. The requirement. Well, let me start with appointment. Those persons who deserve to be appointed. Then let us look at the requirement. The requirement should go beyond the constitutional requirements. Ten years post call for Supreme Court. Fifteen years. You must be called to, to the Nigerian by person of uh, integrity. You should go beyond that. You, you must, in that 10 years, you must have practiced for at least seven years out of the 10 years. And you must bring evidence of such practice, like it is like the requirement of a senior advocate of Nigeria. So that you, when you are coming to the bed, you are sitting that you are not a green horn. You are not a green horn. Then we should also improve our courts. Make our courts, we should make the courts enjoyable. Some of some of these some of these judges still write in long hand tea today. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the courts when you enter some of these courts, they are still very very hot. No good chairs. If you go to federal high court, some of the chairs are broken. Non-functional ceiling fans. No non-functional ceiling fans. No AC. In fact, let there be ceiling fan before we even talk about AC. Mm -hmm. Some courts do not have AC. It's even better in FCT. If you go to some states, you will weep for the judiciary. So we should improve all this. There should be constant training constant training they should also meet their counterparts outside the shores of this country mm -hmm. so that they know what is happening you understand but more importantly is the issue of appointment and the requirement the, it should go beyond the constitutional requirements it should go beyond that i think when we do this we'll have a better and more vibrant uh, judiciary now still in 2016 now we we'll look at the issue of conflicting judgments it's one of the issues that we talked about uh, uh, mm. In 2016, where judge who are operating from courts of our coordinate jurisdiction will be giving competing judgment. It is it is very very sad. It is indeed very sad why judges, particularly of coordinate jurisdiction, will if be giving. Particularly at the federal. High at court. the federal. <laughs> 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 it is very sad. A lot of lawyers we have really condemned that uh, the, those 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 actions is is really uncalled for. When you know before, when, when political cases are brought before you, you should uh, and your your attention is brought to the fact that some of this matter is before your learned brother. I, th I think it behoves on you to wait till the outcome of that of, of, of the of the matter before your learned brother before you make any pronouncement on your own. Mm. You don't just you know preempt. You don't just rule on matters when those matters are already sub judges before your learned brother. So I think it is uncalled no, for. And besides thinking, what should the judiciary be doing here? Because it appears as if when a justice throw one here, Justice Okunab and throw his own throw here, his own. everyone throw, and we just have you. You have one PDP Bar case. Bar you have yes. all judgments at yes. the Federal High Court, and everyone is flaunting the papers to anywhere. Uh, what should the judiciary be doing? There should be they should, the judiciary should come hard on these judges. There should be sanctions, serious sanctions. That is it. I think that is the only solution. There should be serious sanction because they know what to do. And it appears some of these judges, with all due respect, some of them may, I mean, the only, way, the only thing any right-thinking person will, will say is that some of them have interest in some of these matters that they give judgment on. So I think there should be sanction, very, very serious sanction. The NJC should come very hard on these judges that give very, very conflicting judgment, knowing very well that some of these matters are before their learned brothers. Now let's look at the issue of injunctions here. Yes. Where you can buy one. Everybody just finish, they look at the case, uh, uh, let me go and get an injunction. Should it just be given uh, like that? Well, I don't know whether they buy injunction. The, that, the, 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 the that's what the PDP to, alleged. To the best of that my PDP said they buy injunctions uh, against them. People are just going to, to get the, injunctions. To the best of my knowledge, the court is not a market. If you want to buy any any item, you go to the market and buy. You buy. Or you go to shop right, you go to any of these places and buy. The court is the hope, the last hope, like they say, 
of the common man where you come but to the case, but, but common man's cases are always dragging why the big man cases the political cases are, are, are always very speedy it depends on what you mean by the dragging. common man case some cases of even a small land dispute can be in court for close to about 30 years but a case that involves a political party a governor a big name we will within 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 one two six five six months is at the apex court tribunal cases of course you know that there is a time limit for okay. that. you know that, that there is a time besides tribunal cases case of forgery of certificates that may not even affect the tribunal give, somebody me, just, give, give me an example so, somebody some, me, so, me. So, somebody is a political appointee yes. and he has the document forged and couldn't go to the tribunal and somebody wanted him out and the person went to the federal high court and the person lose the, lost the case there he went to the appeal court within a short time the person had the supreme court and the person didn't even go to the tribunal that, let me let me let, now let me say this you see sometimes i agree i will not dispute the fact that cases last up to 10 5 i mean 10 15 sometimes 30 years 20, 30, 30 years. years like you have said i won't dispute this fact but you see sometimes we are not privy to okay. some of the things that happen in the court that's true we are not privy that's true. you understand we're only talking from the outside that's true. you are not a party to any case that have lasted for 20 years but I have, I, have, I have somebody in Karu who, who told who, you. No, no, he, he went yes. to the Supreme Court that they have a land dispute yes. that lasted about 25 years. 25 years. Five years, yes. years. Yes. in his village that yes. he is the one following the case now the Supreme Court. Yes. You see, sometimes a lot of things must have transpired. For instance, a judge handling the matter may be elevated, transferred, debt, retired. retired. Debts could also go. And when these things happen, what happens to that case? The case starts afresh. Sometimes there could be petition against a judge from one of the parties alleging one or two things you understand so these are some of the things that you know delay matters and sometimes you see judges we let us not be quick at accusing judges okay. sometimes sometimes the the judges you know judges act they are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are the judex independent arbiter they act on matters the way the matters are presented before them they are not parties to these matters it is the evidence that both parties presented before these judges that the judges act on. And sometimes the ordinary man on the street may not know. He will say, I have got my lawyer, my lawyer, my lawyer produced a lot of evidence, and yet the cases was not in my favor. You see, judgment are not given based on public opinions. They are not. They are given based on facts, the matters that are presented before the court. Okay, uh, one of the things we also saw is this one. We saw, we saw two groups here. I think that's the one. Thank my, thanks to my producer. Two groups actually came out pro and anti judges rally. We know uh, they came out when the judges were at the storm. I think this was a pro rally. Uh, this one is, uh, okay, this was a pro judge rally. The other one was anti judges rally. I watch a take on this. 2016. What a beautiful, beautiful year. Uh, my good friend there, Ken Gaimo, led the pro rally. And uh, my other friend, as former Nash president, Wale Badmos, led the anti rally. You see, in Nigeria, we, we, you know, in Nigeria, we like to read. We 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 we, we, we read political. We, we bring in politics into everything. Okay. Into everything. Of course, I understand that also that uh, even the recent trial of uh, the former first lady, you know, there are also pro protest, protest and anti protest. You understand? You see, some of these things are really uncalled for. Let us also give the uh, security agencies, our, the, 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 the institution, the opportunity or the chance to do their jobs. I do not think some of these rallies are relevant. They are not relevant at all, to the best of my knowledge. But some are for, some are for, again, the judges. Yes, they are not. They are not relevant. I mean, why will you be, 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 be against or why will you be for? Just allow these persons to do their job. Allow the institutions that are responsible for carrying out these, these duties to do their job. What difference? Okay, those ones that are again, what, what have they actually achieved? I know it is their constitutional right to protest, either for or against, but what, have they, what has this protest uh, given to them? What have they achieved at the end of the day? Maybe they've been able to voice out. Yeah, of course, that, that <laughs> I just said it is their constitutional right to protest. But of course, you must do it within the, con within the confines of the law. But the dancing and others, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some Sometimes. Of, to, 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 to me, really, some of these things are uncalled for.
Yeah. Okay, but, 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 but still looking at uh, this uh, issue yeah. now, this, all these are all events that shaped 2016. Yeah, yeah, they events. shaped 2016. Of course. And uh, whether I like it or not, they are going to be in the books of history. Of course. Uh, but, 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 but we look at, as we look at the issue here, uh, twist, drama, melodrama, MBA. After that raid at night, the MBA was quick to say, look, we condemn the raid. Yes. Uh, second, they said, no, the judges should not step down. Yes. Later, MBA back down. Yeah, yes. No, <laughs> what, what, what involved those twists as we look at 2016? No, to me, that was, it was not a twist. The twist. The twist. The, and the, the NBA condemned the reading. I just said it now. The reading, of course, even though even though they acted within the law, of course, if you look at the Ad Administration of Criminal Justice Act, it said you can search can be can be can be carried out at any time. So as at the time at a 1 a.m. when they carried out that act, they were within the law. Okay. But we are saying that. I mean, why going to judge's house? This is the NBA position. Why going to this judge's house to arrest them at that hour when you could have as well invited. invited them one, or even if you do not want to invite them, you could have as well raided their house in the daytime. As soon as they are leaving the courts or before they go to court in the morning, you go there and arrest them. Why this rush? What informed your decision, even though you acted, so to say, within the law? Why this gangster? You understand me? But it's still within the law. It is, it's within the let, law. let me tell you, there are times, there are times eh, when even though something is within the law, it can it, be legally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barista, you want to create a new cause. You are putting no, no, words no, no, into you, my mouth. You are mouth. going there. Let me just say, let me help you. You, you, are, you are putting it's your, legally wrong. <laughs> you, are put, you are putting, why don't you allow me Go to ahead, that? Barista. Something go is ahead. within the law, but okay. you, must, you must also look at the circumstances. Okay. You must look at the circumstance. You must look at the, 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 the public. You understand what the public will say. Do you know? It is very, very important. The, the, the outcome, the reaction from the public. Do you understand? And don't forget that as at, this, as at the time this incident happened, that was almost the time when the, 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 the immediate past CJ was about to go out. You understand, was about to hand over right. to the, inc the, the present CJ. So there was this issue of the presidency do not want the, the, the uh, Onogen, you understand, to be called to take over from. You understand? So we must also look at the reaction. What will, how will the public perceive this action? These things are very, very important. You understand? Even though you acted within the law, you understand? So that was the, that was the, that was the, the worry of NBA mm -hmm. at that time. So when it happened, when it eventually happened, when they were trying them, NBA now said, okay, now that you are, being, you, are, you are facing trial, it is very, very important, you understand, because of the office that you occupy, it is important for you to step down. That is not to say, at that point, NBA is not saying that they, 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 that they, they, they no longer hold their earlier view. No, they hold their earlier view. Even till today, they still hold their earlier view. They still condemn the action of the, of, of the DSS. But they are saying, okay, step down without prejudice to your, your, uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the presumption of innocence. You understand? Step down why you are being tried. Okay. Then the NGC said, no, they won't step down. Later on, the NGC now said they should step down. Oh, <laughs> is it that, is it that the, the judiciary is being am twisted? Or? It, is not, it is not I'm being am twisted. But that was the fear as at that time. Now, 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 as we still look at the year, uh, uh, please, if you're joining us, the program is this morning on ITV. We are speaking with uh, uh, a public affairs commentator, a legal practitioner, and a rights activist, Barista uh, Ahmed Tijani Yusuf. Uh, let's uh, look at the whole thing. When the whole thing broke, we got to, to the, the, the lawyers were divided. Yeah. Some said the judiciary was on trial. Yes. Some said no, corruption was on trial. Yes. Which one was on trial? Then? I think the judiciary was on trial. Or corruption? I think the judiciary was. But on the, 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 do, you, do you see corruption also being tried? Well, you, yes, the corruption also being tried. But the judiciary was <laughs> carrying the heat. <laughs> judiciary, somehow, maybe whether inadvertently or otherwise, also carried along. Okay. You understand me? The point I am making is this. You see, there are ways you do things. Things must be done decently. Things must be done Decent. Okay. When, when the DSS, when the DSS during Jonathan's regime, when they raided APC office, good. You remember? Yeah. All of us shouted. In fact, some persons say the DSS then over the cloning matter. The cloning matter. In fact, they were holding brief for INEC. INEC came out to say, our, our, you understand, there was nothing of sort. They said INEC um, website has been hijacked. 
they said all manner of things. In fact, they accused the, DS, the APC of being the mastermind of, of, uh, of, of all the bombing in, in Nigeria. I remember the then Marilyn Oga, you understand? We condemned the DSS. Some persons say that the DSS was an arm, was an arm of the PDP. All sorts of things were said. Things should be done decently. Things should be done the way they ought to be done okay. in a democratic society. You understand me? And that is what was what happened then is what somehow we are the, we, we, we saw during the raid of these judges. Okay. We are saying this shouldn't have happened. There should have been a better way to have done to have to have carried out the raiding. Let us not go to the area. Let us not ask whether the DSS even had the right to even do that. That is another argument altogether. But we are saying, okay, now that you have done it, you should have done it more decently, more humanely, more maturely. You understand me? Not to raise suspicion. Not to raise suspicion. After all, these judges were even granted bail on self-recognition. They were granted bail on self-recognition. So they are not out. They are not refrains. They are not Boko Haram people. Nobody is saying that they enjoy immunity. Nobody has ever said that. But the way you went about it calls for suspicion. You understand? Calls for suspicion. So you shouldn't have done that in that way. You understand? This is, this, this is a changed government. We all voted this government. We expected things to be done differently from the way it was done during the, jo the, the government that we all chased out. So you're saying that for, for, for now, with all of this, uh, looking at uh, 2017, what do you think that the judiciary will be looking like? To me, like I started, I said the judiciary, even though the judiciary has not done excellently, right. it has also not done badly. The judiciary, there is still hope for, it, for, for improvement. The judiciary will still do better. It's doing well, and I believe not because of this rating. The rating has nothing to do with the improvement. But, 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 but some say it has stopped the judges' uh, craze for money. Flamboyant life that judges live, uh, also that they, they, they have been able to play down on it. When you see them live in very expensive, uh, expensive neighborhoods, uh, play around with very expensive cars, kids uh, could hold parties in London. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh, but but, but the, the, the anti graph agency say that. I don't know about that, but if that is the truth, it's unfortunate. And um, I also expect the law enforcement agencies to also beam its satellite within itself too. They should beam, <laughs> yes, yes. We're but talking about the judiciary here. No, yeah, we, we are talking about the, the judiciary, judiciary you understand? So but by extension, we must also talk about other arms of government, government too. Okay. There is no way you can talk about the judiciary alone without no, looking at no, maybe, maybe some other times, so no, for no, now. <laughs> we are talking about the judiciary. Yeah. Then who read the judiciary? Who? The, 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 the enforcement agent. The enforcement agent, and it's part of what? Part of the executive arm mm -hmm. um, of government. So that we must, in talking about the judiciary, you understand me?